Here's the car. There's brought nails over there, and there's this uh, wee monument. And if you look over there, you can see the bus stop. We're doing the John Buchan Way today, and Walk Highlands, it says it's about 13 and a half miles. I've walked it before, and it, I'm sure it's more than that. It ends up being about 15, I think, uh, just with the extra wee bits here and there. This route takes us from Broughton to Peebles, or Peebles to Broughton, but I'll, I'll walk it in reverse because Broughton's closer. Um, and obviously being parked there at the bus stop, that means that we're, when we get dropped off from the bus, we're right at the car. What you want to do is park the car and just walk along the road right into Broughton. It's a wee shop in here as well, they do good pies and stuff, so you can stock up with some lunch things. There's a wee shop there. Looks as if it's for sale, so hurry up and get your bids in. Such a lovely wee town, Broughton. If you look back there, you can see we've came out of town. And we're just walking up the road here. Just where that sign is on the left, there's a turn into the right. And that's what we head up. Yeah, it's over here, Broughton Place. Up around here, you come across a farm. The road takes you around the left of it, and that's where you go. You can see here Walker's car park up the glen at the end of the track. Now the only thing is, if you get the bus back here, you're away down where I started and I'd rather get dropped off where my car is at the end than get dropped off enough to walk a mile and a half at the end, you know? Some cool places about here. That's cool. Then of course you've got this guy. On this way, Moss. This chap here. You can see the house there and the road comes along here and this is the end of the road. There's a walker's car park here which is nice of them to have made, especially as it's a private road. And what you can do is walk straight up here and either peel to the left or the right. There's like a ring circuit you can walk. It's quite nice, it's like a wee, maybe, long afternoon walk if you're wanting to do that, maybe a Sunday after lunch. But we go straight on. Just up from the cottage, there's a bit of this uh, grass track. And as you can see, um, the hills start coming in. And there's a strip that goes up there. That's not the path that we take. We're on this bump path and it goes round and up there. But if you wanted, you can go around and up there and up that strip. You can also go up walk up the path round the back and come up the top there and then you can walk all the way around here and then back down there I'd stop there to take my waterproofs off because I've, I've went all sexy on you I'm wearing a pair of legging things and tiny wee gaiters so it's a bit wrong to be honest it's a wee bit wrong but uh, they're nice and cool and practical when on shorter days like this, when I'm not in amongst a dose of heather or anything, on a flat track, and uh, I'm trying to get a bringe in today, basically. I'm trying to bringe on, bringe on ahead, and uh, get this, get this in quickly. Big rucksack on, I'm training. Uh, I've done the West Highland Way earlier this year, I've done the Sky Trail, and I'm going to be doing another long distance walk. So, little days out like this, about 15 miles, pack up all the stuff I'm going to be taking on those like week long plus trips and I see how I get on if the pack's too heavy, if it's comfortable, if my clothes are alright it's just a wee test, I was out eh, last weekend I'll put a link at the end of this video so you can go and watch it and it was a coastal walk, Be Berwickshire coastal walk over two days a wild camped on the Saturday night so it's just a wee weekend jaunt so you've got day walks like this, half day walks, full day walks like this, weekend jaunts. Go to my channel, subscribe, there'll be more of this sort of stuff coming, and you can check out what's there. I'll be uploading more, and uh, trying to be as helpful as I can with content, where to park, uh, where to go, any notable things to look out for, and such. And... Uh, yeah, if, it's, if you're here watching this just now, shows that you're interested in stuff like that. So, it might be a handy wee source of information for you. So, I'll show you Otina Turner here. 
see, with the legs out and all that, and the wee gaiters, all dead, dead sexy, Moss has went all sexy on us as well, haven't you? Yeah, she's got her backpack wall, her stuff in it, and she's wearing her wee hot red boots. That was another thing we are trialling, Moss's boots. Her back right paw um, seems to get sore. When we were doing the Sky Trail, I actually had to carry her for 6.6 .6 miles. Emptied my rucksack, so I'm carrying like 15 kilograms worth of kit and bags in my hands, and lashed to my record in the lead. And Moss is actually right inside the rucksack because she ended up like raising her paw up and going on all three legs. I thought that was a showstopper, but we made it. Now that we've came further up a wee bit, you can see the path that you might not be able to. But right there, it splits to the left. There's another hill up the back there you can walk to again for a wee day walk. There's another bench there we cut to the right. Aye, another good wee seat to sit and have your peace. We've came up to that bit where the track splits, post there, seat there, if we pan round you'll see the path goes over there and there's these hills, you can see a wee cairn up there, well a trig point up the top there if you were to go around this circuit. Now I'm sure there's one further back or just a cairn and that's what we've came up from down there. A wee bit of a pull up to this point from down there, but then here you can see it actually drops down a little bit. I guess on average it's probably quite flat. There's Moss away, look, she's got a new trail, she's trail running again. We're going through this guy. I see a lot of these gates, for all that the swing closed, I come across, I come across them a lot where folk haven't bothered putting the wee doodah back on. So do that, that's why it's there for a reason, or I'll kill you. This is like proper borders landscape. It's so still right now, it's, it's, it's lovely, really nice. Kraken, as I was mentioning, I'll be recording more of these walks for you. Um, just now on my channel, my YouTube channel, I have West Highland Way video series, day by day, directions, point out wild camping spots if that's what you're into. Um, just a bit of a vlog really I guess on it. And I also have the Sky Trail which is much of the same. That's split into the sections as per you find on Walk Highlands. So if you download the GPS, GPX files to your sat nav, those sections will correspond with the videos that I've made. And I also have the Berwickshire Coastal Path Walk, which is a 30 mile weekend walk. Um, that's the same, that's split up as per the Walk Highland sections. And then John Buchan Way that we're on today, it's also on Walk Highlands, which is an excellent, if, if, see if you're not on it already, go to Walk Highlands, just Google Walk Highlands. It's got an interactive map showing you all the routes. It's got all your Monroes on there with route descriptions, waypoint, downloadable waypoints, interactive maps as I said, uh, reviews and such. And it's also got that for just day walks like this, and also long distance paths, tracks, trails and such. So it's basically a brilliant resource. I'm pretty sure you're probably already on it. Um, you can go and read my reviews in there. Uh, and you can also check out my website. Now, if you have any other walks that you'd like to see, get in contact with us, either leave us a comment in this video or use the contact form on my website, let us know and I'll go out and do the walk, make a, video, a wee video on it, like much the same as this. Uh, and if there's anything you'd like to ask me about gear, what will be coming on my channel is gear reviews, just different tips and tricks. So, you know, you can subscribe to me on YouTube for those. You can uh, 
put in to get notifications on my website. And of course with that, if there's any gear you'd like me to review, if you'd like to ask me any questions about different walks or anything like that, just drop us a line. That's why we're here. Uh, the walking community is a brilliant one in Scotland. So we're all here to help each other. And the main thing is getting out there in the lovely country we live in and, uh, and enjoying it. And if we can help each other to be more efficient at that or enjoy it more, brilliant. I've certainly got a lot out of watching YouTube videos and stuff like this and reading different reviews on things. So I'm just wanting to do my bit and put feedback into that, you know. Anyway, cottage, awesome. And we can see the arrow pointing us to the right. And we follow this track along here. And if you were to keep going, it goes all the way over there, brings you out a road. But once we come round a wee bit, the, uh, there's another post and there's a path that leads off to the left, crosses a wee river there and goes up around the side of that hill. And we go up around the side of the hill and then drop down the other side. That's, we're at, that's 3.66 miles we've done so far. Um, and you could really make a day out of this. If you're into a bit of heather bashing, you could walk this path around and then brain up over the back of that hill and that'll take you over the other side of where I was showing you. Um, or you could just go along the, the hilltops there. You might be like me as well at times and you want to get out of the road, everyone. And uh, this, honestly, I've walked this about four times, this John Buchan Way, and I've seen a handful of people. I'm talking maybe like three or four folk. That's the maximum amount of people I've ever seen on it until you get into around Peebles. And then it's just people walking in the local hills around Peebles. So this is my wee, uh, I've got Tinto Hill near where I live. If I want a wee brain up a hill to keep the leg strength. And I've got this, a wee long distance, longer distance day. If you get the big rucksack on, you know, it's a good bit of, it's a good training day. Love it. So this is my wee secret. So don't be, don't be telling everyone. So next time I'm out here, there's hundreds of folk. Cause I'll need to kill you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm into the killing today. I'm only joking, of course. But we're bringing the new, we're fleeing. We're absolutely fleeing. Wait till you see this dog here. Right, on you go. On you go, trail running, trail running. Trail running. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> oh, she's too quick for us. Too quick for us. That's just asking for a broken ankle in it, running my, a rock sack with eight days worth of food in it and all that. You coming out? Oh, the wee shoe. That's it, good girl. That's you, good girl. Yes. That's us. Is that good? You can see where we've came up. Here's a sign telling us to go left. And this is where we're going. Aye, so we're down here. Here's the ruin. Here's the wee uh, river and the ford. Moss is investigating just now. That's the lowest I've seen this. Normally that's a decent flow through there. It's not still like it is. And here's our wee bridge that we're going to batter over. We've came down along there and we're walking down this path. So it's quick going. 
Um, if you look over there, we go down there, around, you had a wee uh, set of houses, you walk down, you walk along the road a bit, you take a left and you start heading towards this farm, then you cut up through fields, and then you actually go up round the back of that there, and over the top. As you're coming down that path, watch out for this sign here. What is it? Right there. Um, you take a left, so if you're not paying attention, you'll, you'll end up just going straight down there. Uh, but you actually take a left along here. If you came along here, if you look up here, you can see John Buchan Way. This way, this way. That means we are going this way. And that's uh, about this, just over the seven and a half mile mark. This is at the road, you'll see a sign there. And there's another, links in one other walk. But just up there on the left is where we peel off. You'll see a sign. All right, so we're up here. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know we like a bridge. We're right into them. Here we are here. And you go up there, around there. Just um, follow the, the fence line, uh, the dry stain dike. When you come past the farm and start heading up through here, you come through a gate, there's like a little bit there where the path peels off, the road peels off to the left, eh, where it goes across the barn, that's not it. Come up here, come through this guy, and some people went down to the left, down there. Don't go down there either, you keep coming up. Come on behind, good girl. And the, the sign's actually here. You might be coming up this hill from down there and you're like, oh man, still got all that way to go up there. You don't actually, see that post there? You go around the corner of that and it just, that's the path right there. So you actually skirt around the back of it. So when you're down the bottom and you're looking up and you're coming up and you're like, oh, bit of slog here. It's not that far up here. There's another post down there. Just there, and you're only up to here. It's not it's not bad at all. Once you come up there, you spin round and you can see there's a gate. There's a gate in a style there. And you can see that we start dropping down. Right, 8.75 miles we're at. Peoples is just over the other side of that guy there. What I'd also recommend is a hat of some sort. Now it's not just for the sun, um, but it's also quite handy because it acts as like a headband, a sweat headband. But also at this time of year, the insects are out. I mean, they're all there. There's one there. Look, that's me just closing my hand. And there's one. They're everywhere. Now at certain times of year in certain areas, you've got midges that bite you, and it's just so uncomfortable. Um, you've got clegs that bite you, draw blood, and and built up areas like this, where there's a lot of cattle about. I don't know their real name, I call them shit flies. They seem to lay eggs and hatch out of cow pats, and then they just buzz loudly around your head and fly into your ear, your eyes, your mouth, just batter into you. It's as if they're after the sweat uh, on you. And it's just disgusting. Shit flies. Having the hat keeps them from landing on you. And, but, see how they land in my hand. They, if, I've got short hair. And they just land in your head. Bzzzt, bzzzt, right into your head. And you're like, ah, oh, you know, it can make your life hell. Insects can really make your life hell. Now, especially biting ones if you get irritations and you're scratching and swelling and all that. 
Uh, all my sharp and heart, this heart is actually treated with um, like an anti-insect treatment. It, it, shit flies seem to love it though. They love everything, of course, don't they? So they're still battering right into it. Um, but it's really more for ticks and mosquitoes don't like it either. Haven't noticed, can't tell if midges don't like it. They don't really land in your clothes. But uh, aye, I definitely bring a hat. Now you might be someone who is a seasoned walker and you're just looking at this as a wee route, route description, that's fine, but this might be your first longer distance walk you're planning and you know, you really don't, I would hate for you to come out and have a miserable time and not want to do anything like this again because you're just tormented off of, off of shit flies all day, you know? And they're quite strong flyers, so midges can't fly when there's even a wee breeze. These guys still fly in the wind. There's one on the screen, I'm just looking at it, absolute dirty pigs. The way is here, and in there, look. What's he doing? There's a big bull there. And I don't want to set him off. He could be testosterone to his nut, and that's his bird there. And I've got a dog with a, you know, an orange hang, like a red rag to a bull style. So I'll just quietly go past him. Because I tell you, look at the bollocks on him, man. Jesus. Right, we need to, we need to get out of here. You just, you, you, you would never met, he's probably, see that? Oh, for fuck, here we go. See that thing, like, he's probably broke that. Here's his bird coming. Here's his bird coming, and we'll set him off. You never mess with anything with bollocks that size. We're out of here. Shut up. There's a tip for you. Never mess with an animal that's got gonads bigger than your head. That's 9.85 miles, and we're taking a right at this sign. Let's go down here. Check it out. We're going up there and around. It's all the road. It's all this tarmac road until you get to um, a little path that starts going up to the left and a gradual incline and that takes you over the hill but you go between two hills so even that isn't very um, difficult. Right man. Right wait a minute. That's you. We are going up there to the off to the left. That's 11.24 miles to this point. We're coming up here. This is the view. And just up there it flattens out and there's a tiny wee incline that it cuts across and then it drops down the other side. So really up there is, it's just there. That's really the highest you're probably going to go and maybe a wee, up a wee bit the other side. But nothing major. This is more or less the top of it. I'll show you. If we just go around here. You can see it all levels out. There's folk over there. We've came up there. We're up the top of that bit. And I'll show you where we're going. If you're here. It's not up any of this. That's the path there. Skirts round, drops down. And there you go, as you come around the corner here, you see Peebles down there. And you're not far to go now. Let's get down here. Uh, we've got a wee bit of a wait um, for the next bus. The buses are only ever, uh, every ever. The buses are only ever, uh, can I have a rewind? The buses are only ever every like two hours to two and a half hours. Uh, this is a Saturday. Uh, Sunday I think it might be even less. But um, yeah, we've maybe got a wait of a, a, a couple hours. But that is what it is. 
better early than late, that's for sure. You come down there, there's a gate here along the wall and where those lasses are down there, there's another gate and that's you on the road and you basically just walk down into town. So there's a sign there that tells you to take a right off of the road you walk down when you come off the path and you basically follow that all along here. You walk through a nice wee bit like this. Okay, the footpath you'd normally go is, uh, what I normally go is closed. Right, okay, so we have to go along. So that's going to add a wee bit of time and distance on. Not a massive amount. Uh, so I'm not too fussed about that. Still getting followed with these shit flies. So you normally come out down there. That's us at 14 and a half. There's the toilets, just in there. And you want to go to this car park to the river's edge and walk right along, there's a white bridge right there. Cross that to get into town. We're going up these steps and walking along the bank. Cracking me town this by the way. So as you can see, we're at 14.64 and moving time. 4.27 uh, saying stop for 43 minutes uh, that, that stop time I've actually not stopped um, I've not stopped at all I've not stopped to, for a wee break I've not stopped to take the weight off my feet that must comprise of stop times that I've added up from pausing to open a gate close a gate adjust someone on the dog maybe readjust something, maybe stop to take a drink. It's amazing to think, or maybe even stop to take a picture. That's all added up to 44 minutes worth of time. So, the Walk Highlands, you're, you're from Broughton Town Centre to the to the end of the John Buckingham will be 13 and a half. We're maybe going to be, I don't know, five, 400 metres or something to the bus stop. Not that far. Probably... I'll keep this on and we'll see if it goes up to 15, but we might be 15 miles um, to get there. And you're about right, 4 hours 27, but you always need to take into account your stop time as well. So we're just sitting down next to this bridge here, which you cross, you go along and you actually come along there and you go up in there. And that's the main street that runs up and the buses up there. That's me in Broughton, on the main street. This ice cream place seems to, there's a queue out the door. There's a queue out the door for the ice cream. So I'm going to go and investigate that in a wee minute, because I like my ice cream. But uh, I thought, you know what? I've not had anything to eat today. I'll go and get something substantial. And I went and ended up getting this. Right. Oh, ho, ho. Hamburger supper. I've still got all that left out of my uh, hamburger supper. People's fishing, uh, people's fish bar over there. Massive portions, reasonably priced. Tasty as well. Gonna need to leave space for my ice cream though. Salted caramel, mint chocolate chip, and blueberry. Definitely get involved with the salted caramel. It's the best one. So I've been sitting about for a wee while, but um, you can see. Uh, 15 point uh, 15.29 miles Just got dropped off by the bus there and uh, Heading back to the car. I've got some Guinness in the fridge, so I'm going to go and scoop into them. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the trip if you come to do it. Check out the rest of my stuff on my channel. Subscribe if you want. I'll keep you posted with upcoming stuff, you know. Cheerio. Thanks for watching. Bye.